Well, it's the good news many people here in Rhode Island have been waiting for. Governor Raimondo announcing today that two state beaches will reopen in time for Memorial Day. The governor also making a decision on in-person religious services. Let's take a look at where things stand right now. Another seven people have now died of COVID-19. These new deaths have pushed the state's death toll past the 500 mark to 506. Meanwhile, the number of people hospitalized has dropped again to 236. This is down from 260 yesterday. Iowa News News reporter Kim Kalunian is live at the state house with the new details on the good news the governor announced today. Kim. Well, Shannon and Mike, good news indeed. Today, all state parks are back open and soon two state beaches will follow suit. With just days to go until Memorial Day weekend, Governor Gina Raimondo says she wants Rhode Islanders to feel a sense of normalcy as they kick off their summer. Along with Memorial Day celebrations, the first voyage to the beach is kind of part of who we are. Come Monday, two state beaches will reopen, East Matunic and Scarborough, both with limited parking. Bathrooms, showers and concession stands will remain closed and there will be no lifeguards on duty. For now, admission will be free. You can, you know, take take the kids to the beach, go for a walk, put your feet in the water, but it'll be in a very limited way. The governor saying Monday she hopes to have all beaches back open with limited parking in phase two, which is anticipated to start in June. Another new development Tuesday on places of worship. On Friday, Bishop Thomas Tobin tweeting, I'm not an historian at all, but I wonder what our founder, Roger Williams, would have said about the power of the state to prevent religious folk from gathering for worship, even during difficult times. Raimondo now announcing her goal to allow places of worship to reopen to in-person services is the weekend of May 30th. So we've really tried to balance people's needs and rights to worship with the realities of this public health crisis. And more specific guidelines on the reopening of beaches and places of worship will be forthcoming. With the new positive tests reported today, there have now been 12,795 positive cases of COVID-19 since the start of the crisis. And Governor Raimondo also announcing today that two state beaches, East Matunic and Scarborough, will reopen Memorial Day with very reduced parking. In-person religious services will also resume the weekend of May 30th. Specific guidelines will be released in the next few days. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kaludian is at the State House with how one uh, with how Rhode Island's Phase One differs from Phase One plans that were announced today in Massachusetts. Kim. Well, Rhode Island and Massachusetts are not fully aligned on what the various phases of reopening will look like, but Governor Raimondo says even though the specifics are different, the overall goal is the same. In Massachusetts under phase one, no retail stores can reopen their physical store to customers, while Rhode Island is allowing limited capacity at non-critical retailers. Governor Baker's plans include the reopening of hair salons in phase one, unlike in Rhode Island, where no official date has been set. Massachusetts not yet reopened opening restaurants, unlike in Rhode Island, where outdoor dining is allowed as of today. Baker once again will allow manufacturing and construction, which Raimondo never stopped. And the Bay State will reopen churches one week before Rhode Island. Here's what Governor Raimondo had to say today when asked about the differences. You know, it's a consistent approach, whether you're one week ahead or one week behind, that everyone kind of has to make that decision. The other thing, the approach we're taking, which is consistent with Every public health expert that I've talked to at the state level, the federal level, at Brown, at Johns Hopkins, et cetera, is you want to make some changes and then leave 10 to 14 days to look at the effects of those changes and then make other changes. And, you, and so that's what we're doing. Like I understand in Massachusetts they're doing every week changes. That's a different approach. We're taking a different approach. And the governor today says her main goal is to make sure we only have to do this once and not take any steps backwards. At the State House, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.